Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great and in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can make this custom PCB batch which I am wearing right now, which has few LEDs and some electronics for some fun. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the circuit I used for flashing the LEDs and here is the schematic. You can download it from my website, link is in the video description. This circuit is called 2 transistor a stable multi vibrator or you can call it a oscillator. I won't go into much details right now but if you want me to cover this topic of multi vibrators, let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, this circuit basically uses two transistors to toggle the LEDs alternatively using some capacitors and resistors. You can adjust the time delay between the toggles using this formula. I chose a relatively small time of 0.85 seconds and using the capacitor value as 100 microfarad, I got a resistance value of 6.25 kilo ohm, which I then rounded off to 6.2 kilo ohm because that was the nearest value available. After which I tested the circuit on a breadboard and it seems to work fine. So I converted the schematic into PCB layout using online software Easy EDA which is free to use and here starts the fun part. You can make any design you want on your PCB. I wanted it to look like cool batch which I can wear on my shirt to promote my YouTube channel of course. So I went with this funky looking hexagonal shape. Also I used all the SMD components to keep the weight as low as possible. Once I was done with the design, I exported the Gerber file and uploaded it to jlcpcb.com who are also the sponsor of this video. You can order high quality professional looking PCBs from their website. They offer services like PCB manufacturing of not only 2 layer PCBs but also for 4 layer and 6 layer PCB as well. But this time around I wanted to try out their SMD assembly service. So I clicked on assemble PCB button on their website and the process was pretty much straightforward. And I only had to upload 2 extra files for getting my PCB assembled from glcpcb.com. Again, I won't go into much detail as I plan to make a dedicated video on this topic. So check out glcpcb.com, link is in the video description. Once I got my PCBs, I really wanted to make sure if the quality of the cell screen was good. So I scanned the QR code using my mobile phone and it worked like charm. Then I simply soldered a 500mA lithium polymer battery and tested if the circuit worked and it did without any problem as you can see. After which I removed the battery and proceeded towards soldering the safety pin which I stole from my mom. Once that was done. I later realized that I forgot to add a power switch, so I added a simple tactile switch directly on the pads of the PCB and soldered the battery via it. After using some hot glue to secure the tactile switch in its position, this project was complete. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more information about this project, you can check out my website, link is in the video description. And don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.